You don't really need to know what that is. It's just, it's good. Just eat plenty of vegetables and you'll be fine. Get a spoon. You can spoon out some food. Arcy, where's the spoon? Oh, they're in that thing because the brooches. Oh. <laughs> they're right here. We keep them safe. It's okay. Well, it's just the big ones. It ain't them ones from getting being dirty. Well, roaches. They're the big ones that come in from outside because I live in a shack. I think roaches have crawled on every piece of food on the planet. So They've lived a long time. Well, I don't want them crawling on my spoon, so I keep them separate from the drawers. So, make note, my hands are clean. I'm just going to toss this around in some coconut oil. I like to cook with coconut oil because um, it can stand up to heat a little bit better than olive oil. Olive oil can go rancid pretty quickly. I like to hot. moisturize with yeah. coconut oil. Yeah, it's good. It's a little heavy. It's a little heavy for my skin. I try it and it's too heavy for my hair it. too. But if I'm you've got old real thick and wrinkly, hair. so it just goes. Plus, I drink a lot of alcohol, which dehydrates you. You don't look old. Oh, I am old. I'm feeling it too. I was doing my eye makeup and I was noticing that it was so hard to draw on the the line yeah. with the liquid liner and I was like, why is it so difficult? And then I, I, I was like, well shit, it's because my skin ain't as tight as it used to be. Liquid liner takes practice. And it's all like feathering out in the wrinkles. And you know, that's just a consequence of being old. So I'm gonna cut some onion, I need a towel. Like, Here's a paper towel. Yeah, use some paper towels. I've got oil over my hand. Yeah, use that. Use the paper towel for the oil. I just like to use this for like drying my hands and holding hot things. Keeps it sanitary. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. I use paper towels. I admit it. I admit it. I don't care if people tell so, me I'm wasting. I'm going to tell them about what I'm doing. Oh, what are you doing? I'm cutting the onion. So whenever you're cutting, you want to keep a nice little bear claw here, and you want to cut yourself a flat surface so it doesn't roll around, and then keep your bear claw, cut it down the middle, and peel the skin off. I never do that. You don't? What do no. You, do, what do you, you never do what I just showed you? No, I do it different. How, I don't, how do you do it? I don't do the bear claw. Well, you got to protect your fingers. Well, I just grab it different. How do you grab it? I've never cut myself that way. How do you do it? I just like take, well I tell you, first of all, I cut it, instead of cutting the root there end off. For you? you can do one half and Well I now I just half. do food service way, which is like you leave the root end together and mm -hmm. then like do your cut so that it's easier to keep. Oh, well, I still have the root. Yeah. I don't have no root though. Uh, That's well, not the I, root. That's the I top. I the wrong side <laughs> off. I mean, this is my first time cooking on camera. It's all right. But you know, I thought still, you had a different technique. I was just going to tell you mine. This is still holding together. You're right. That is the root. Yeah. See, it has all these little things coming out of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, usually you just you just uh, leave the root intact and then slice it and dice it and then cut. Mm, that looks like it needs to be. So anyway, I'm just going to slice it. Just a little side piece slice, kind of thick. We're just going to roast it and puree it into a soup. So. What? This bag? Oh. Oh yeah. That's I'm going to move. Here. What is that? That's the quinoa for later. Oh, it's black. Oh. Wow. I never cooked with the black quinoa. Lucas, I need your help. Oh, uh, this is Lucas. This is this Lucas. Is this is my fiance. We're getting married. This is my pretty ring. And zoom um, in. Wait, wait. Hold it out. Hold it out. Yeah. Hold it out. It's an antique. It is. It was my grandmother's. It's like ring. the food processor. Yeah, it's like I got my grandmother's food processor and her ring and all her old. Oh, look at this. These need to come off. So, do you have a strainer, RC? Uh, I do. Okay, can you stick a line the strainer with a paper towel and rinse off? The you need tool? a big one or a little one. A little one. Okay. Well, not really little. Like How that about I just... Little. All right, that's a big one. I got a smaller one. So you have to line it with a paper towel and rinse off the quinoa. Because quinoa, if you don't oh. rinse it off, it has a really bitter, bitter taste. I thought you got the, uh, the rinsed kind. No, they stopped selling the rinsed kind 
I what kind? And I'm really upset about it. What kind of rinse what? They had, uh, they used to have boxes of pre rinsed Oh, honey, quinoa. I got a better thing for quinoa. Hang what? on, I'll show you. Yeah, mess mess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. I got the real deal. Yeah. I've done this before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm just slicing up these onions. And I'm going to throw them in here in this bowl with the cauliflower. I've got a couple notes here about onions. These are really good for fighting cancer, heart disease, lowering your cholesterol. And it's don't be afraid to stink. No, you, you just kind of with lots swish it of around in there. And garlic, just and don't agitate be afraid it. To smell. Get you that smell like sapping in all. all. Yeah, I used to do this with rice. Yeah. Well, rice Perfumes is cause neurological usually damage. you don't need to do it. Yeah. There you go. Shake it, 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 shake it. I'm going to throw some garlic in there. You want to smash the garlic because it releases all the phytochemicals. You could even take garlic, just a straight garlic clove as a supplement for your heart every day. Just make sure you smash it first. It's also good for yeast infection. It's great for you. You can wrap it up in some cheesecloth. Oh, I just it shove it up like there. A, shove it, I would use some cheesecloth. I'm a little... I just put it up there. I did it on a show a one clove. time. You did not. I did too. You put garlic up your Well, of course for a I show. did. Yeah. You can do anything on public Girl, access. That, yeah. Of course That's you can. All. It just needs except to be show your dangus. It real, real good. Can't show the okay, dangus. Yeah, well, it's done. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you can show a flaccid dingus? You can show a flaccid dingus. I thought there was no dingus at no time. So there's dingus as long as it's not erect and sexually stimulated. Uh, <laughs> so, like art posing dingus. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> all some right. Letters, but you won't get kicked off yet. I see. I see. Okay. Oh no! Slippery. Ah! You know, I, I show you, I use this stuff. Oh! You just shot me in the coochie with that garlic. I Did y'all see that? I heard you had a yeast infection. Shut up. <laughs> I ain't got no yeast infection. I would admit it if I did. Here, you need to rinse it off. It's got hair on it. <sighs> There you go. It's too slippery. Now, you know what I use, which prevents a bunch of that? Oh, what do you use? My Acho Macho oh, oh, candle. Walgreens? Yeah. I don't know. It was a gift, but yeah, that's what I do. Cool. And that works. You just can't hit it too hard or else it just mashes the skin into the garlic. Now, I already threw away my onion skins just now because I was... You took your candle away. I wasn't done with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. You can keep it next to you if you want. Here we go. Let's rinse it off again. Your accent's rubbing off on me. No, oh, I'm sorry. Did you? I don't mean to be a devil. <laughs> so we'll put that in there. We've got garlic. And last, we got these poblanos. These are on sale for 90. These are organic poblanos for 99 cents a pound at Central Market right now. Oh, my goodness. Really cheap. Oh, Why'd wait. you get that fucked up one? Oh, it's just I got it a couple of days ago, but it's oh. still okay. It's still okay. You're giving me your old produce. Yeah. I see how you are. <laughs> Using up that old shit. But don't throw these things away. Keep it all in a stock bag, and then at the end of the week, you can make veggie stock with all your scraps. Or you could just buy bouillon. Or you could buy bouillon, which we're ending up having to use today because I forgot my chicken stock. I'm but sure your chicken stock was so much better, but this is so much more convenient. You well, can either get cubes or you can buy something see, in the jar like I do. that's how they I get do. you, though. They cater to our laziness. I know, but you know what? If it comes down to me going out drinking for happy hour or coming home and making stock, guess what's going to win? Drinking. Well, that's how you make your stock on Sunday. Oh, uh, well, I ain't home on Sunday, and if I mean? am, I'm recovering. Are you at church? No. Where are you? That is for me to know and you to maybe find out after a few drinks. 
So make sure you cut the seeds out because it's real hot and your hands are going to burn for a little while, but it's okay. So should you wear gloves if you're sensitive? Because, you know, I've been yeah. sensitive lately to things that, that are hot. So yeah. I've been wearing gloves when I 